Question here from somebody about if I've got £30,000 and I want to get started in property, what should I do? Watch the video to find out my answer. Question here from somebody which is, I've got £30,000, uh, how do I get started in property? It's a, a good question, so it's a, a broad question. You ask 10 different people who are in property, they'll give you 10 different answers. Uh, so it depends how involved you want to be. So you could start off by getting into rent to rent, uh, whether that's for uh, single let or HMO properties or moving on to service accommodation. £30,000 will give you a good start there because you'll be using other people's property. You can get into deal sourcing as well. Uh, those are some of the low entry type of businesses uh, in property that you could look at. But if I had £30,000, what would I do? I assume that's your uh, question or that's the answer uh, that you're looking for to that particular question. And I would start off by doing BRR, so uh, flips, buy a property or two, maybe smaller ones, uh, refurbish them, uh, refinance them, put them on rent. And if I didn't want to put them on rent and I've added some value because I've, I've bought below market value and then I've added value by refurbishing it, then I would flip them. Uh, would I be inclined to flip or BRR, so hold on to the property? I'd hold on to the property and then try and pull my uh, cash out uh, six months later. So I would do that. Even better, I would look into go into a, a JV with somebody. So I could fund the purchase, they could fund the refurb, uh, and then we could do twice as, a, as m many properties. And I think that would work really well for you. You could do two or three of those, uh, maybe more, and you can carry on doing them every year if you wanted to, and then start moving on to slightly larger developments so start doing a, a small commercial conversion of two three four flats and then slowly slowly start building up i think that's going to work really well for you why i prefer holding on to them as opposed to selling them uh, simply because i keep hold of the a asset create cash flow create capital appreciation and then of course if i sell them straight away i've got to pay uh, tax on the disposal if it's in, in my own name income tax if it's in a company which is what i do corporation tax so that saves me that 19% with the current tax uh, rates so why would I want to sell them and give away 19% I'd rather keep the asset and earn income from it so that's what I would do go into uh, flips or BRR with a JV partner do a few of those move on to commercial conversions and then that's going to open uh, the avenues up for you to do bigger and better deals